fix Go High Level Calendar Sync. Sometimes you may have to refresh your Go High Level Calendar. If you're also looking to figure out how to troubleshoot while you're having issues or maybe even also your time zone. This is actually one of the biggest problems I had in the beginning with the time zone, but now they've actually updated so much on the Go High Level Calendar. I wanted to do a new video. My name is Stacia Kennedy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to comment below if you're still having issues. There are also great resources in the description below. So let's go over to the calendars. Um, I'm showing you my screen right now on the calendar section so if you're in your sub account you go to calendars um we're going to go to calendar settings here and you can set up your calendars and you want to actually go to connections this is a new section now that you can make sure that you are ha you know all synced up together with you, the right calendars uh, synced up with your google calendar or outlook or, or even um calendly all right let me clear off the blur here i want to make sure you guys can see i did another video on the private mode uh situation down here so if you have a team um they actually this is automatically going to be on and other third parties uh can't see what's on your calendar like your doctor's appointments and stuff um and then here you want to make sure you have your conflicted any if you have multiple calendars you have maybe multiple emails i have multiple different emails i have a personal email account which i have appointments on and my business calendar as well too so you can actually make sure that you have your conflict calendar sync so if for some reason it says any errors down here this is another area that you can check to see if you have issues with your calendar syncing so if you click on add new you can add additional calendars um, and connect them here if you're with outlook you can do that here if you have an icloud calendar now and if you have calendly now it's connected and you can integrate there you can also integrate zoom and if you're using microsoft teams i don't <laughs> personally i don't know maybe i'm just like a because a microsoft is really a pc thing um, really have a lot of um, Mac products so I, I and I've just been using zoom forever but um, kind of nice I guess to have a, a separate uh, uh, situation here for video conferencing so I wanted to share with you the connection section is very important to t take a look at what's going on here if you're having syncing issues um, you can again go to video conferencing see what um, your zoom if your zoom for some reason is not being connected you want to make sure that's connected here if you have um, uh, you know Google my business or local service ads these are also some things that you can connect to in your calendar which is awesome so this is a great place to, to check also there's two other places especially talking about time zone let's talk about syncing your availability so of course it's going to check whatever you have available on your calendar and then the availability that you set on the calendar itself on the actual uh set setup right up here in the um, actual calendar what times they're being available um and and if you're doing like round robin with a team and things like that but first of all check connections if you're having it syncing issues then you're going to go to my profile and let's uh, that is where you're going to put uh, what times you are available uh, that you want to take calls so let's go there now in this section you're going to scroll to the bottom and then you're going to see your availability and your time zone you want to make sure you have your time zone of, uh, here set to your availability and put the times that you are uh, available um, this can be different from the time zone times that you're available on the calendar itself this is what times you want to take calls and on any calendar of course it's still going to sync to your google calendar whatever calendar you have but i also want to just mind you um, your user time zone here if you uh, your company the company that you're working with um, the agency level itself is on a different time zone that's going to be under the business profile under the business profile you're going to set your time zone here so if you're looking at the calendar and the time zone is like different than the user's time zone like if you're in another country but the company itself is like in the u.s under a different time zone 
that could be a reason why your time zones aren't showing up correctly or you're getting confused on when you're like rebooking people on the calendar because the calendars when you're looking at the calendar and the whole team it may be under the business profiles time zone and not your time zone um so that that could be com conflicting information here so just want to show you that it's great that they now have per profile per user you can set your country your country and your time zone but if you're looking at the the team itself this whole sub account this time zone for the whole company may be different and that might be conflicting on what your understanding of um what's going on on the calendar so i just wanted to share that with you you may have to delete or resync your calendar once in a while if there's any issues and you can't fi figure out why you're not it's not working for some reason or people are getting booked at different times and you're not understanding um why it's not syncing um you can always block your calendar as well not only in your google calendar you know of course block out times um but you can also block out times in the system itself too so let me actually go there real quick before we l i let you go yeah it's really easy like um you can click on any time here and you can actually click blocked off time and then just name a block or re you know reason why you're going on vacation and put in the times like i could probably put christmas right we're gonna say we're Christmas is off and so actually it looks like it it already picked Christmas so I'm gonna put then I'm not available from this time to whatever time confirm block time there you go so you shouldn't be getting any um, appointments on that day between that time all right, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha. Bye.